TechCrunch, how are you? Do you mind yeah, telling us what's up? Yeah. you want to do this one? Sure. We're just uh, in the process of announcing a new product called Nomi, okay. which is uh, one of the first analytic applications for students to use okay. and really understanding the progress of their studying and how uh, they're doing relative to classmates, relative to their class. Okay. Uh, and on what sort of metric? On, on reading level or...? or? Uh, engagement and interaction with all their academic content. So take a textbook and really looking at what does a star student do and how do they progress through a book and what's the interaction levels they have, what's the time they spend, what sections do they value, and really grasping that information to say, how am I doing relative to that? Be able to look at it daily, weekly, monthly, long before the grade becomes an important or an impedance matter for the student. Okay, very cool. Can you show us some of the, the, the stats? Yeah, absolutely. So we're inside a book now. We're going to go outside of the book and bring up Nomi, which we're launching tomorrow. So how much effort is it? Can you turn it a little bit that way? So how much effort is it to integrate Nomi into a book? Uh, it comes part of our application. Okay. So we digest, uh, we ingest books digitally from over 65 educational publishers. We make them highly interactive for students, highly personalized, and allow students to collaborate. So Nomi is just another step in better informing students on okay. higher interactivity. Where's Mark? Mark, do you have your uh, uh, Nomi? While we're doing that, can you give us a little bit of background just for people who don't know on what No is as a base product? Uh, no is a digital application to enable uh, K-12 and university students to find content and engage much more with faculty content, school content, and traditional textbooks. All right, here we go. So, so can we turn it a little bit that way? So here with Nomi, you can see uh, I'm logged in. I can see my usage of the content through the first uh, couple of months here in September into October, and I haven't really been doing as much as I should. So maybe here in October I've just studied for an exam, didn't get the grade that I wanted. So I've followed Tim so I can see how oh, you're fine. I can see how Tim's using his content. And I know Tim got a much better grade than I did. He got the grade I wanted. So now I can see that Tim started engaging with the content straight away. He used it more consistently over a longer period of time than I did, even though I crammed here. But Tim was probably revising there, whereas I was probably trying to learn net new material at that point. So is there a way for a student to opt out of this so that my fellow peers don't know how much of a slacker I am? Yes. Okay. Exactly. So this is all about self-awareness and accountability for the student in terms of how much they want to take on. It's not a surveillance technology for other people to kind of, you know, uh, okay. see what they're doing. So here, you can see over the time series, Having got that wake-up call, I've now adjusted my behavior, so I'm still not studying quite as much as Tim. But Bring in a, a Tim. Come on, Sam. Yeah, Tim, Tim doesn't Make have a lot of bad. friends. <laughs> Tim doesn't have a lot of friends. Now, the other thing is the interactive content. So here you can see, as the semester went on, I ramped my use of the material in the content. So at first, I was probably using it just like a flat PDF and I was just reading it electronically rather than carrying the physical book. Mm -hmm. And as I got further into the chapters, I started using things like search, I started using things like highlighting, because it was making my study experience better. Again, if we go back to Tim, if you see how Tim used the content, right out of the gate, day one, chapter one, Tim was right into it. Okay. He was using all of the multimedia features, he was using things like flashcards, he was using the, uh, you know, the, the glossary. So, again, I now take a look at that and decide how I want to modify my behavior so I can get the grade that I, I want to get versus the grade that I'm, that I'm getting. Okay, very cool. What age range do you mostly see using this? I know you guys are K through 12, but... Yeah, so right now we're seeing this a lot more in, uh, in higher ed where it's elective by the student okay. to participate rather than K-12 where right. there are different set of issues you've got to deal with. Cool. Well, thanks so much. It launches tomorrow? Uh, yes, yeah. so uh, our press folks know when the embargo... Uh, comes in. Let's move on. All right. Thank well, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.